NSAIDs, also known as non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, are a group of drugs that help inhibit inflammation, pain, and fever. And they work by inhibiting the synthesis of a really important group of chemicals called prostanoids, or more specifically, prostaglandins. Now, these prostaglandins are synthesized by an enzyme called COX. There's two types, COX-1 and COX-2, and the NSAIDs inhibit these COX enzymes. Now, the prostaglandins produced by COX-1, they are always being activated, and they play really important housekeeping roles. So for example, these prostaglandins help maintain our gastric mucosa, so stop the stomach from digesting itself. It helps maintain renal perfusion, so it tells the blood vessels going to the kidneys to remain dilated so more blood can get in to be filtered, and also helps in the production of platelets. Now, the prostaglandins produced by COX-2, they're not always activated, they're inducible. They need to be activated, and they're activated by tissue damage. And when this happens, the prostaglandins that are produced play an important role in promoting inflammation, pain, fever, and inhibiting platelets. So now when we take a look at the different types of NSAIDs, what you'll find is that they all inhibit COX-2, but their clinical relevance depends on how much they inhibit COX-1. So aspirin, mostly COX-1 inhibitor, but also inhibits COX-2. Ibuprofen, diclofenac, and naproxen all inhibit both around about the same. And then finally, the coxibs are COX-2 specific inhibitors. And so now you can take a look and see what are the possible side effects of each of these types of NSAIDs. These ones predominantly obviously can play a role in so having some issue with our gastric mucosa, increase in the likelihood of bleeds and ulcers. Can also have an issue here with renal perfusion. So people with certain kidney disorders, they may experience acute kidney injury. And also stopping platelet production. One of the reasons why low dose aspirin is used for people who are at risk for cardiovascular disease. Also, the coxibs, because they inhibit COX-2, really good as anti-inflammatories, analgesics, antipyretics, but also increase in the production of platelets, and this might be an issue with people at risk of cardiovascular disease.